Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So the YouTube video that's titled, This is Why You Need More Protein, Rhonda Patrick, that was produced by the YouTube channel Found My Fitness Clips is nine minutes and 10 seconds in duration. Let's break that down and let's just look at the key points. And please remember now that I've retired, I get to watch between 20 or 30 longevity type videos every day, as well as reading articles and blogs and scientific studies and listening to podcasts when I ruck run and ride my bike. And I only now review the videos like this one that I think are gonna give good longevity value. So although it is a critique of her original content, it is most certainly not a negative criticism. In this video, Rhonda Patrick discusses the importance of protein intake and its role in preventing muscle atrophy. She explains that while the current recommended daily allowance, RDA, sometimes called RDI, for protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight, recent studies now suggest a higher intake of 1.2 grams per kilogram is necessary just to prevent muscle loss. This is especially important during periods of fasting or low protein intake. For those who are physically active, the requirement increases again, this time to 1.6 grams per kilogram to account for muscle damage and higher energy utilization. She emphasizes that essential amino acids, which cannot be synthesized by the body and can only be obtained from diet, are abundantly found in animal protein sources. These are crucial for maintaining muscle integrity and function, as I've said, especially during periods of fasting or low protein intake. She notes that for vegetarians and vegans, they might need to supplement their diet to achieve the necessary amino acid profile. She then touches on the different types of micronutrient profiles between different types of meat, such as higher iron content in steak and rich omega-3 content in fatty fish. The concept of building muscle mass early in life is likened to contributing to a retirement fund, something you can draw on in later life. She advises a starting resistance training early and maintaining a high protein intake can significantly help counteract the natural decline in muscle mass and strength that we observe as we age. She also mentions that resistance training is crucial for increasing muscle mass and strength at any age. So you're never too old to start resistance training. I'm now OMAD one meal a day, pretty much five days a week. And for my one meal on that day, those meals are very high in protein. And this normally comes from meat, which is either chicken or beef. Now, are you worried about protein intake? Are you reducing your protein intake, even though like me, you may be gaining in years because of what you've heard about the mTOR pathway? 